I'm Professor Bruce Sunderland and one of the authors of our paper reporting on the in vitro and in vivo evaluation of a sublingual fentanyl wafer formulation. I'm a professor at the School of Pharmacy of Curtin University in Western Australia. The first recorded use of sublingual administration of a drug was that of glycerol trinitrate in 1879. Although that method of delivery was remarkably effective, until recently there has been little further development of the use of sublingual delivery for systemic drug action. The sublingual and buccal routes have often been linked in drug delivery, however there are differences between the nature of the epithelial membranes involved in drug absorption. The sublingual epithelia contains fewer cell layers compared with that of the buccal mucosa, rendering it more permeable. Hence the sublingual route is better suited to treatments requiring rapid absorption. There is also a greater likelihood of partial swallowing of the oral contents with buccal delivery. Sublingual administration is very simply carried out for all age groups and avoids the need to swallow tablets or capsules, which can be problematic for some patients. Drug absorbed from the sublingual pouches and ventral surface of the tongue drains into the jugular vein and therefore is delivered directly to the systemic circulation. Our group has been involved for some years in the development of a sublingual product that will give rapid absorption of suitable drugs for immediate action. One drug we have worked with is fentanyl, which has excellent physicochemical characteristics for sublingual absorption. The wafer is prepared by freeze drying and includes sodium carboxymethylcellulose and amylogum as matrix formers and mannitol and glycine to aid the freeze drying process. Absence of characteristic peaks of fentanyl in the X-ray diffractogram pointed to this process achieving amorphization of the drug during the freeze drying process. The wafer showed very rapid disintegration of less than three minutes. It is evident that when a wafer is added to water, you can see the rapid disintegration of the wafer. Importantly, approximately 90% of fentanyl dissolved within one minute. A pilot study in patients evaluating pain relief following gynecological surgery involved sublingual administration of the wafer which showed rapid absorption of fentanyl with the first detectable plasma levels at three and a half minutes. The overall bioavailability was 53%. A study we have published elsewhere using the same dosage form in human volunteers had a bioavailability of 78%. The above data only occurred when the patient's sublingual area had been pre-wetted with three mils of water prior to administration. Patients whose mouth was not pre-wetted showed much slower initial absorption of the drug. Many patients may have a dry mouth post-surgery or caused by treatment with other drugs. It is important that the mouth is pre-wetted before sublingual administration of any drug occurs.